hi guys welcome back this is for gemini's gemini's welcome back to the channel i know i've been mia on here but um your girl had to take care of some stuff before at home and then as you can see i'm not even at home i'm in florida because i know my mom been telling you guys like if you're subscribed to my mom channel the seeker um she brought up my aunt you know she's going through uh, a health you know situation which you know she's going through cancer and that kind of triggers me a lot when i even say that word because my father just you know um i think january will be or december i think you know actually december will be a whole year well this month will be a whole year my father passed away so of cancer so it kind of like triggers me you know when i hear that word and um i don't like to talk about it so we are here in florida and um you know my mom is with her right now she's doing chemo i think she has about probably two more sessions to go if i'm not mistaken but um yeah you guys very serious situation so forgive me a lot has been going on and i wanted to be here i could have stayed home but um you know you just never know cancer moves so fast one moment you're doing very well and then the next moment with cancer it's just it's you just never know so let's get into your read just wanted to get that out of the way i am not home i'm with my mother so yeah let's get into your reading so today is monday usually i don't do aries or um leo and um sag on monday i do it on sunday but i didn't get to upload yesterday because we drove here and was really tired when we got here and i just fell asleep and so today you're going to see those uploads but you're also going to see your readings as well so let's get into it um gemini what's gemini's first energy angels when it comes to the person that's on their mind gemini energy okay gemini's energy Wow, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you guys. What is going on these days? I feel like you're coming to this finish line of this situation in your life, okay? For some of you, you're definitely just either separating from someone or um, ending something. Ending something here when it comes to some kind of financial matter. Something could, that could be um, something that you actually put a lot of of energy in which it could be a business as well um and you're tying those loose situations up and trying to move forward so there is like this incompletion of things happening with that ten of pentacles like something didn't didn't finish this is what i'm being told here then we have the nine of cups you know again you guys working really hard together and feeling like this is right you still do feel like that okay so we have the world in reverse so this thing that you guys are going um handling right now are going through with each other is not over I, we have the world here in reverse we have the chariot we have the knight of pentacles and also the ace of cups sorry about the noise again this hotel is very noisy. That's what I realized about this. Actually, this is a resort, actually, and it's this noisy. You could hear people on this side. You can hear people outside. It's just weird. All right, so we have the Five of Wands on the back of the deck in reverse as well. So there's um, this letting go of this conflict and realizing that, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore. I can't argue with you. You're taking a lot of my energy, my positivity. I don't want to deal with this. And I'm seeing you just walking away from this situation, all right? So we have the Ace of Cups that we know that there is not going to be a new beginning with the situation, not even for now, 
all right you feel like you know what you need to put this on the back burner for, with this person okay and i'm also seeing like this person is coming off as someone that is struggling when it comes to money this explains a ten of pentacles wrapping up that that um legacy that um time together that you guys have built but because it's coming to an end now where you feel like this person might be living off of everything that you are bringing to the table and not trying to actually bring anything back okay this could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This could be a Cancer for some of you. This is a general, not a personal read. Remember that, gems. All right. We also have the world here. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy coming through as well. Why is this chair at this wall? It's like so annoying. All right, you guys. <laughs> Your girl got it going on today. A lot of things are just in between. All right. So... With this world card being in reverse, you guys, I just feel like this person is coming right back around to you, okay? There's some kind of incompletion the way you guys separated, the way you guys just walked away from each other. There's something that you guys need to learn from each other. This is what I'm being told here. Like, it's not yet done. Huge incomplete, like, incomplete situation, like the goal is not yet finished but you feel the funny thing is you feel like it was so right with this person you have the nine of cups here you have the 11 11 for me as a reader coming up in the upright telling me that this is how you feel for each other this person really thinks of you it's the nine of cups thinks of you as a positive vibe within their life but there's things coming to an end between you and this person Okay, tell me more for Gemini. I feel like this person is waiting for some kind of opportunity and it hasn't come yet. Yeah, they haven't even made the preparation though. It's like, I'm getting like this person might just want people to just, just like give them a success instead of working at it because I'm not seeing them making any steps into success, into long-term, you know, situation. Like this could be, I'm getting like this could be an ear sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, someone that is living in the present moment and not really thinking about the future, like a year from now, five years from now. They're just living in this moment and living day by day. You know, this is the kind of energy that I'm being felt. But again, I'm getting a Capricorn, I'm getting Virgo, I'm getting Taurus, I'm not getting on paper here an um an ear sign i'm getting an earth sign but this person could have this quality in their chart or appearing like the descendant sign might be a ear sign i don't know their personality you know um or the way they are appearing to be in front of you you know but okay so we have the king of wands we have the high front we have, again, the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So you're kind of over this person, but yet they're coming to you in the chariot. The chariot is all about success here. So this is what this person is, is they're, they're, they're trying to be, okay, with you. They're trying to be successful with you. This is their intentions moving towards you, is the success, okay? They're not thinking about failure, all right? They're thinking about success. And so they have a lot of love for you. And when I tell you this person that's coming up, it's like they feel like, you know, there there's nothing that no one can tell them about you because they already know you. And it's like good things. But you, on the other hand, is looking like, no. You need to move forward. <laughs> you need to move forward, Gemini. This is what I'm feeling here. Like, there's no good memories here when it comes to you and this person. But yet, there is a decision here that this person is making. I'm getting Taurus as well. It's coming through. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So a lot of you are going through healing and letting go. Um... A lot of you are going through physical or mental healing, mentally. The Nine of Pentacles. So you're going very single. I'm seeing like you're going to choose being single here. You're going to choose being happy, be financially stable. 
this is why the first card is the Ten of Pentacles. You see how everything comes together? The Ten of Pentacles is your first card. The, the, almost the, the second to last card is the Nine of Pentacles. And then the last card is the Ten of Swords. So in reverse, okay? You are letting go from a lot of stress, a lot of depression, a lot of... Um, physical agony, mental agony that this person put you through. You're choosing yourself. You're taking back your money. The Ten of Pentacles from the beginning of the reading was about your money, your independence, your power, who you are. And you're cutting whatever is meant to be with that person. Let them have it. But you're moving forward, being by yourself. You know this person is coming back. This is something that always comes about with the world. It's a cycle between you and this person. You are opening up now. Like the love for this person is kind of changing. Um, before you were head over heels with this person. But for the Ace of Cups to be here in reverse the king of the, the knight of pentacles, the page of pentacles, you're kind of realizing the downfall of this person and that they're not someone that you want to be with because they're not making any move to make anything happen to them in a good light. All you want to see is this person to grow and to be the, their best self, you know? And I feel like this person is attacking whatever is closest to them because you are growing. You are the one that has the financial matter, okay? And they can't stand that. Some people just can't, you know, they're with people that they end up being jealous over financially. Um, and I'm like at a, a awe with that. Like, how could you be with somebody and be jealous over them at the same time? I don't know. But people are out there like that. So, um, so definitely the outcome of this is you are choosing yourself. You're making this mature decision to do things right. You're not... Um, a person that is going to, you know, ha yell at this person or anything like that. I'm feeling like you're going to be there if necessary, if this person needs you. But at the end of the day, I'm just seeing like you are realizing who this person is and the love for them is just different than what they do, what they have for you. So the vibration have changed between you and this person. And it's the way they treated you, of course. But I'm feeling like this person is trying to do things the right way now, like do things in order, but they just don't know how with this page of pentacles. They don't know how. So that's going to be an issue for them. And I feel like, you know, the only thing for them to realize that is to live on their own and to be on their own and to experience things on their own. Um, and it's unfortunate, but this is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so it's like I'm getting like this person doesn't have any experience in life. <laughs> That's weird to say, but they don't have any experience how to survive on their own. I feel like this person might be spoiled. Yeah, this person has been given everything. This is what I'm being told. They haven't, not even yet got in this energy where they have to do things for themselves or they I just feel like everything has been done for them so you could be with a mommy's girl or a daddy's what do you call it uh, a mommy's boy so what's happening here all right so we have the world here again all right something is happening you guys that's what I'm being told. Okay, new love is coming into your life. So we have 29, we have 49. So we have angel of love is making their way. All right, this is what's going on. You're being cleansed from the past and the future is coming into play. But when you are ready, for those of you, the garden and the gate, you still feel like you have to go backwards a little bit. When it comes to this person, okay, it's like you are ready to leave, ready to move on. The gate are not closed. They're not changed. You're not changed. You're not, you're not taken prisoner, but for some reason you have this um, thing about you where you just, uh, you're afraid to see what's out there on your own. Because I feel like that wasn't the plan for you anyways. You wanted to be in a relationship. Why am I getting like the happier I am? The, I'm the most happiest when I'm in a relationship. This is what I'm being told. Who is that? Okay. 
All right, so we have all tied up here. Remember, I was just saying you're not changed, you're not, you're not everything. I don't see that. But then we have the all tied up card. Oh my God. It's like you want to leave, but you feel like you're all tied up. This is a mental thing, you guys. But I feel like you are going to be healing from this. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're letting go. You're, you're growing from a lot of things. You're going to, it's going to take a while for you to, to, to go through a full healing, but you're taking responsibility. This is what I'm seeing here. All right. You're learning from this experience. It's like you're closing chapters. You're going into new chapters. For some of you already are in new chapters of your life with a Ten of Swords. It's a new beginning happening here. Tell me more. So you have your sixth chakra here. I believe this is all about spirit. If I am not mistaken, if I can find my book i don't even know why my book is in here because i need this book all right so you have your six chakra your six angel number 40 um clarity of thought a uh, personal vision of yourself or your life okay so definitely clearing your mental um thought your mental health here the way you think the way you manifest the way um you just be in the world in a healthy way okay and i feel like your sixth chakra is pushing that you're just clearing your mind because we have the ten of it's funny how we have the ten of swords here all about mental health here all about you know physical health and how you see yourself and for your your fourth your 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 sixth chakra your angel your, your number 40 clarity of thought okay your thought in your mind your mental state the way you think the way you pray the everything about you is your clarity and you know manifesting a per, your personal vision or going after it that energy that force of energy and i feel like that is what's happening in your life right now with your angels being by your side it's like you're going after things that you want not what people want you to do and this is what i'm seeing for you gems why do i have um two cards here we have the ten of wands in reverse and we have the seven of wands so there's a lot of history here i feel like <laughs> you are definitely making a choice to run for the hills this is what i'm hearing you found out that you found out uh, you found out the truth of what's been going on here with this person especially this person has been holding secrets um this i feel like you've been asking this person about the situation you've been wanting them to tell you the truth but it's something about this person that they were trying to be overprotective or with what was really going on here but you found out the truth anyway because everything actually fell, fell out of control they lost control of the situation and you packed your bags and you left this is what i'm hearing okay this is what I'm seeing here. You packed your bags and you left. This relationship was a burden to carry. Way too many uh, responsibilities for this person. It's like you were carrying this person on your back. And I believe it because the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, this person has no inspiration within themselves. They're not even going after planting a seed or figuring out a dream. Like, at least have a dream. Like, what do you want? What do you see yourself doing? They're like, I don't know nothing wow that is creepy but this is what i have for you um i hope it resonates and if if it doesn't please go over to the link in the description box it will be your playlist and also go over to the instagram if you want to support the cause um that link should be in the bio as well copy and paste should be your best option know that there's a lot of scammers out here trying to be me and just know that i will never ask you for a donation or um a, a personal read you know that's not how i get down and i'm not taking any personal reads right now because your girl is resting okay from all those other personal reads that you had me doing i love you guys and i appreciate you guys i know that things are going to happen in their time but the first thing that you need to have control over is your mental state your spiritual state your your physical state everything comes together here okay your healing process has to be so on point for 
the positive energy to, mo to move the way it needs to move, okay? Energy is energy. They're, f they're moving all the time. But sometimes with our thinking and the way we act, you know, especially in negativity, and we embrace that negativity, we slow down the positive energies that needs to be moved around us. But anyway, love you guys, and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.